freezer, 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 freezer. Not all the galaxy can it all the parasites. Freezer, 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 freezer. Oh, and oh, and la suffering end. Welcome to the most futile curb log ever. <laughs> I'm joined by Ben Diskin in my yes. in my useless efforts. Um, hey, so we're no no. Don't let me in with your useless efforts, you no, asshole. Well, I mean, because okay, I'm just gonna say this <laughs> outright. We're probably gonna have to turn the comments off on on this on this curb log. Yeah. I I have never in my life ever wanted to do that, but because I'm a piece of shit and I we're okay. We're recording this on Thursday. You guys will be hearing this on Saturday while we're gonna be away at Anime Kanji because we're. On the day we're doing this, we're about to go on a road trip to San Diego. A whole one and a half hour road trip. Yes. Yeah, all <laughs> one and a half hours. It's supposed to take two hours, but Ben is caffeinated, bitches! <laughs> he's, he's been scaring me all day. Yes. Okay, so so anyway, but we're, so this is going to be our predictions about Resurrection F. But, uh, as my friends from Konzenshu uh, have let me know, the movie has already aired. Uh, aired. <laughs> screened in Japan. They had some preview screenings. Um like yesterday, I believe, and uh, so the plot of the movie is out there. We ha- we don't know what it. We we know a bunch of stuff. We're gonna go over what we know so far, and we're gonna make our predictions and hopes, dreams, aspirations about the movie because we're gonna be seeing it on the 11th. Uh, so I'm, I apologize to all of my my very loyal and lovely uh, listeners who would be courteous enough as to not spoil shit. Unfortunately, I do not trust the rest of the internet <sighs> because I'm going to I'm going to just say like we'll we'll probably be like, "Oh, maybe this will happen or maybe this won't happen or whatever." And then some asshole is going to be like, "Um, actually, I read the synopsis on 4chan and this <laughs> happens." Like, "Thank you. Thank you. I'm about to see the movie in 7 days. Fuck yeah, off." We're basically going to be avoiding the internet more or less for, for the the, ne- whole, the next yeah. week. Yeah. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> but uh and I yeah, so so I think actually when this is going to be uploaded We'll be in the middle of doing well if you're going to be there with me on it. But uh, I, I'm going to be doing the Tome Episode Zero screening oh, I'm panel. I'm going to far away from that shit. I yeah, hate that show. Yeah, fuck that show's pretty fucking. It's, yeah, it's just a total rip off of Sword Art Online. Oh, I know, like, right? Yeah, completely. Except, except they took out the incest. That was the best part of Sword Art. <laughs> My God. Uh, so for all of you guys who couldn't make it to anime kanji, I apologize uh, for it being in San Diego and not all of the world. But. Uh, I have this in, in, instead uh, to entertain you all, I hope. And we're going to have a little, also a little bonus video that we recorded before this. I'll save that for later. Okay, Resurrection F. Yeah. Uh, so, Ben, uh, you didn't know a whole lot about the movie no. until the last time we hung out mm-hmm. and I showed you stuff. We, we actually just watched Battle of Gods, That's right. uh, the, the extended uncut. cut. The yes. extended cut of that a couple nights ago with some pals. I uh, say, question yes. for this curve block. Yes. Can we talk about the part of the manga based on Resurrection F that we read? Is that okay or is that too spoilerific? Okay, well, I'm going to say, okay, we're going to talk about what we know and what that entails is – the stuff that has been shown in the trailers for the movie okay. and any other promotional material showing, like, you know, obviously, I mean, Frieza has a new transformation that they've been promoting in lots of material. And there's also a, uh, a manga adaptation, as he was talking about, of the – I think it's just, like, the first, like, like, a, like or act or so. I, I think it's the first act of the movie, oh, like, right, like right. in manga form. It's, like, a three-chapter thing that's being uh, – I think it's being shown in, like, V-Jump or Weekly Jump or something. I forget. But we've seen a little bit of that. Um, so we're going to talk about some spoilery stuff, but it's stuff that is kind of already out there yeah, and like in the public it's eye. It's stuff that like you can already figure out is going to happen. Like, guess what? Freeze is going to be more powerful. Oh my movie. God. Yeah. Oh, wow. Otherwise it'd be a very short movie. Or Go- Goku and Vegeta are going to fight him. I think. What? Yeah. Or oh, I guess we don't Wait, know if Vegeta Goku's will. Goku's going to be in this movie? What? Oh, dude. Oh, I thought spoilers. he was dead. I thought he was dead. I, I thought, thought so. I so thought he was dead. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so basic synopsis. Uh, the remnants of Frieza's army, led by uh, these guys Sorbet and Tagoma, because more food puns, yeah, yeah. Uh, gather together Frieza's army. They go to Earth. They find the Dragon Balls. They wish their leader back to life, revive him uh, back to uh, his, his original state and everything uh, with their, their health recovery chamber thing. Uh, and, uh, and so Frieza decides, in order to get his revenge on the two Saiyans that embarrassed him, Goku, and killed him, Trunks, who... Uh, for the record, is not in this time period because he's talking about future trunks. Uh, in order to get revenge on them, he's going to train for the first time in his life because he's never had to do that before. He's a prodigy. And he's like, in four months, I will be strong enough to uh, be even bigger and better than the, these, these two like, foolish Saiyans, and I will get my revenge on them and kill them all. So Frieza brings his, his newly refurbished army after his training to Earth, and our heroes have to defend, and that's what we know. Okay. So that's the basic stuff. So, in addition to this, we know 
Goku and Vegeta are in the movie. Yeah. They have new outfits. Uh, we, rec- we recently learned that their new outfits uh, and little symbols on them are uh, because they are actually training under Huis, uh, which is uh, Beerus, the god of destruction's uh, teacher, and uh, so they can learn to be stronger and eventually fight Beerus again. Uh, Beerus is also in the movie, but apparently in the middle of his nap. <laughs> At, after yeah. after the, the last one, because well, it was like a three year nap, right? Something like that. Yeah. I, I, now we don't know. Aside from the four months that Freeze is training, we don't know how much time has passed. But uh, as we also saw from the trailers and the manga thing, uh, Pan is born to oh. uh, Gohan and Bedell, so uh, they have their newborn baby, um, who is somehow like not dead from like giving her like fetus powers to Goku. Yes. Like, the power of yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Look. I am willing to suspend a lot of disbelief for this show. I know they've kind of basically thrown the whole power level thing out the window. Otherwise, Goku would sneeze and, like, rip a hole in time space. Yeah. But, like, come on. You can't – if somebody said to you, like, hey, uh, my wife is pregnant, and somebody said, like, oh, that's great. We want to draw blood from your baby fetus. <laughs> that would fucking kill – you'd be like – right? You'd be like, fuck no. But these guys are just like, eh, sure, we'll give, like, this, like, unborn child its life energy it's, to It's Goku. key, yeah, to, to make like, pa- Goku into a god. Sure, okay. Like, okay, fine. All right. So amazingly, she's not born with some sort of mental disability or just dead. But okay, whatever. All right. I'm sure she's a perfectly healthy child. Perfectly healthy quarter blood Saiyan child. Right. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's how. Maybe, yeah, that, maybe oh, just maybe. because she's a Saiyan. Yeah, that's right. Or partially Saiyan. <laughs> so yeah, so, pa- so Pan is born. Yeah. Uh, other characters we know are in there. Uh, so apparently the cavalry against Frieza's army are uh, Piccolo. Krillin, who has shaved his head and become a police officer because 18 told him to go get a job. <laughs> uh, but, 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 but what else? Uh, Master Roshi. Yeah, which that's is gonna be cool. Very exciting. Yeah. Uh, Tenshin Han. Uh, not Chaozu and Yamcha. They were apparently left behind. Uh, I'm sure they'll probably like be in the movie well, somewhere. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, they have not shown Goten and Trunks yet. Hmm. But they are mentioned that like, oh, we didn't want to tell them about this because we don't want them to get involved or whatever. Which is like, okay, but obviously because Trunks is one of the Saiyans that Frieza wants to get revenge on, I'm wondering uh, how they're going to work that in. Hmm. And I'm kind of hoping. I mean, we're kind of dipping all over the place. I'm kind of hoping that Trunks and Goten will be like kind of in preteen. Like they'll have like some newer, older designs because oh, like yeah. I think even in Battle of Gods they might have been like. 13 even poss- well, poss- possibly look, i mean it's always hard to tell with everybody the way they look but yeah. yeah i mean dende was like shrunken down a little bit too yeah um toriyama's art style has gotten much more chibified in <laughs> in recent years uh who else was oh uh gohan in his uh track suit because apparently he couldn't find his gi right and so he's just like oh fuck it whatever so he looks like toriyama with his little glasses and his, his great. green track suit great you know what i want to see in this movie okay i want to see frieza training and being a complete fuck up, <laughs> because no, no, no right? Because like he's, he's like this whole shtick is like, well, I've spent my entire life, I've always been fucking powerful. I'm Frieza. I never need to train. I want somebody to like teach him martial arts and to be just just the suckiest student on the face of the earth. He can't do anything right. I would be curious to see that because so apparently the little scene where Whis is uh, training Goku and Vegeta, mm-hmm. he's actually. I mean, you'd be because those of you who don't know, Ben also does martial arts. He's, uh, he's a karate black belt. What are you fucking Power Ranger? Yeah. Oh yo. Good. Oh, Good. Sure. Jo- Johnny's out of a job now. Oh. Uh, and and everybody else. So uh, no, Weiss is like actually like talking martial arts language, which, oh, really? is, which is a thing that doesn't actually happen in Dragon Ball yeah. anything except for maybe like, well, no, not even then because Roshi didn't even talk no. about. Yeah, stuff it was always just like carry this boulder on your back, kid. Yeah, and, that kind of and de- de- deliver deliver stuff. this milk. Yeah, yeah, deliver this milk, and then now let me show you how to make a fireball come out of your hands. <laughs> Okay, you know, it's totally sure. like martial arts. Sure, real. sure, yeah. Yeah. So, so that that's interesting, and I would be curious about like, I know, yeah, Frieza would train himself, or maybe like I don't know if Sorbet would like. Because I mean, he can't exactly like train in like a hundred times Earth's gravity. That wouldn't do shit for Frieza. I know he did, it wouldn't even matter to him. No, he'd imagine. be like, oh, it's like a breeze. Oh, it like, feels yeah. the same. Mm, yeah, mm, interesting. <laughs> um, Sorbet and Tagama, I'm really curious about. I think that they're going to be more prevalent in that first act because it looked like. Uh, they get the Dragon Balls with the help of the uh, the Pilaf trio, right? Uh, who well, are you unwitting know, helpers. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, once again, you know, yeah. as they have been many times in the past. <laughs> um, so that's going to be cute, and uh, I, I'm I'm curious as to how much further they're going to, you know. Well, I mean, should we talk about Tagoma? I guess. Uh, I feel yeah, like okay, okay. All right. Yeah. I, I guess this will be like the one, like, oh no, like real spoiler that maybe isn't like super well known. Um, so the, the two new, uh, characters that they're kind of, like, really marketing is like, whoa, like, new Frieza soldiers from the remnants of his army or whatever are Sorbet and Tagama. Sorbet is this little short, uh, blue, kind of bobbity looking kind of guy, yeah. and then, uh, Tagama's a taller, he looks kind of like a gray alien, um, kind of, 
in the realm of like uh, Zarbon Dodoria sort of thing. So Sorbet leads the, uh, the, the remaining troops to Earth and blah, 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 and you know, coordinates this whole thing. And uh, so when Freeze is revived, uh, apparently Tagama has <laughs> this moment where, where you know, Freeze is talking about his revenge and everything, and Tagama is just like, Sir, I don't, I don't mean to be a to be that a, guy, that guy or anything, but I mean, you know, considering these people fought against the god of destruction and survived, and they defeated Majin Buu, right. I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying, <laughs> <laughs> except he's not. Uh, you know, it, it. I'm just saying. It, it might, it might just Team Four Star beat us to the punch. Oh, um, it, it might turn out the same, and Freeze is just like, hmm, oh, interesting. That's nice. <laughs> dead yeah he just kills him so so this this new ca- which is hilarious to me that like because they're you know they're on all the posters and like all oh, these new characters and da, 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 and like just one of them just dies in like the first act <laughs> you know we don't we don't know with this this we saw this in the little prequel uh, the comic, not, yeah the the the, the, yeah. the manga adaptation so we don't know like how early on this gonna happen or maybe maybe he's alive Maybe oh. he survives out in space and comes back and is a dick about it or something. Who knows? <laughs> that would be awesome. He's just would... like this, it looks like Swiss cheese, and he's just like fucking ass. There, I think there's a there's a shot in the in the in the trailer where I think they show him without that sort of like full eye scouter because he has like a full eye like yeah. like like uh, 360 version of the scouter on or something. Mm-hmm. And I think I saw a shot of him like without it on. So oh. maybe maybe he will still be alive somehow. Or maybe I just he'll think it'd he will be a come lot back. Fun if he's just dead, if he's just like dead, I, 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 just because it's hilarious. Yeah, it's kind of like what they did with like Psycho, the original. They like hired this big celebrity to play this character, and then they kill him off in like the first minute. <laughs> like that would be awesome if they did that with the would, DBC movie. Uh, well, especially because also he's voiced by not a celebrity, but uh, Kazuya Nakai, who's like a. He's like Bugan and Samurai Shampoo, and he's Zoro, oh. <laughs> Zoro, Zoro and One Piece is oh, so playing him. he's like a him. big guy. Yeah, he's like a massive <laughs> voice actor. And actually, and Sorbet is played by like I think like a relatively new guy. I, no, that's I believe. Funny. Yeah, that's just good casting. That's, right there. that's, that's pretty really funny. Good. Oh, oh, of course, can't forget uh, those of you who followed my my Twitter and saw this stupid vine I made about the fucking Galactic Patrolman, uh, Jocko, who is a uh, Toriyama uh, spinoff manga character. He he was in this uh, little one shot thing that was tied into the Dragon Ball universe. Uh, he's going to be in the movie. Uh, apparently because just the Galactic Patrol sends him to go and try and stop Frieza. I don't know where he was the last several times that the Earth was in danger. Uh, what was it, like lunch break? Oh, yeah, no, no. Well, we, we had a union uh, a vacation That's during right. that time, right. so we couldn't we couldn't go when Cell was happening or when sorry. Boo was there. You know, sorry, guys, yeah. We were aware of it. It was really cool. Though. It was, you, know, you, you guys did good. We didn't need us or anything. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> J- Jocko's in there. That's making me kind of hope that, um, those of you who don't know, Bulma apparently has an older sister who was a uh, very successful Surprise. Uh, fantasy novel writer. Oh. Uh, so she wrote, like, Harry Potter. Of, like, oh, totally, yeah. With, with aliens. Oh, okay. Yeah. More, more or less. Um, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that well, – because I know obviously Jack will be in there, and I think because Bulma knows him because she met him when she was like four or whatever in, right. the, in the comic. So I'm kind of uh, curious if maybe like tights or like anything else from Jocko will like tie into the bigger story. Toriyama's kind of made like the um, events that happened before Dragon Ball starts, like when Goku's a kid, a little hazy because like there's been like weird kind of differing – stories with Bardock now and like yeah. how Jocko fits in with that is kind of different too. It's a little it's a little weird. Um wait, but wait, there's inconsistencies in the Dragon Ball. What? Shut right. your well, mouth. I mean I'm already no. I mean cuz already Get I know I, I know I know people are going to be like, they already did Frieza comes <laughs> back to life in that one Janemba movie. It's like great. That wasn't canon. It was a, it was a movie that they made in like 1990 whatever the fuck. <laughs> and literally have you seen that movie no, before? I have no it's idea it's, what it's you're I'll, about. I'll show you this scene. literally Gohan punches him and he just fucking explodes. Oh, that's great. It's it's ridiculous. It's like <laughs> Resurrection F movie done. Yeah. Um so okay, so now that we've explained all this gobbledygook. Okay. Yeah. What what else do you want to hopefully see in this movie? Maybe. Uh, I would. Uh, gosh, I don't know. I want to see. I want to see Frieza win. That's kind of what I would like to see. Because okay. I mean, part of the reason I really liked Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods is because Goku kind of fucking lost. Yeah. I mean, like he lost, lost. Like it was, it was like I mean, he didn't die, of course, but it's like. But he what? lost the battle. Yeah, yeah. he just fucking. Lost. I mean, that's what made it so cool. So I would be like. Damn, what would happen if Frieza just fucking won and set us up for like a new movie of like, oh shit, what are we gonna do about Frieza? He's yeah, like if he take takes over. over the Earth, yeah, yeah that, that could be, be interesting. I would like actually be kind of curious to see him like succeed. I mean, he's a horrible person, but he's a cool character for so, sure. Yeah, you know? well, because it seems like they are kind of like they seem to just be interested in continuing the story with these movies now. Yeah. So if they wanted to keep Frieza around as like a continuing character of some kind, yeah. Maybe I mean, he becomes good. Yeah, actually, you yeah. know. 
You know, it's funny. Okay, so in One Piece, there's a character very much inspired by Frieza, and he's even played by the same Japanese guy. Yeah. And he's, like, the hostage of the, the, hostage of the Straw Hat Pirates right now, so he's just kind of the unwilling, like, ally. Because, <laughs> I mean, look at how many villains in DBZ, like, are, or, sorry, of good guys of DBZ were previously villains. That's true. Like, uh, like for, for me, of course, because I grew up on Dragon Ball Z and not the original Dragon Ball, like, Vegeta... Like becomes a becomes a good guy, that kind of thing. Like it, it's so it's sort of. I mean, of course, there was Yamcha too. He started off as like the bandit king or whatever. Ten, Tenshin Han was Tenshin an assassin. Was, he was an asshole too. Yeah. To like Goku, everybody with Piccolo. So like, yeah, that's kind of a thing where like the bad guy becomes a good guy. So if, if Frieza became a good guy, I would. That would be so much die. fun to like watch them just like hanging out on Earth with like this former like evil dictator, basically space Hitler. That would be fucking funny. Space Hitler reforms. He really is space Hitler. Yeah. I mean, that's he that's what he is. He's a little and you know Ugh. the German. That would be yeah. Jeez. Jesus Christ. Fan art. Make uh, it. Don't, Make it so. Please, please don't. Please do. Um, I do want to see Teenage Go Ten and Trunks because I think that would be really funny yeah. and how they factor that into Frieza wanting to take revenge. No, that's going to be really awkward, the whole fusion thing when they hit puberty. Yeah. T- oh, Teenage Go Tanks because they never got to do that in GT. Oh, That'd yeah. Cool. They, they had like an adult Go Tanks and like Dragon Ball Heroes, but we didn't get that. So no, I mean, there would just be so many sex jokes for like exactly. teenage. Exactly. Like, oh, let's fuse. Oh, gay. Oh, well, gonna, yeah. well, I mean, Vegeta practically made those jokes already. Oh. Uh, Vegeta, on that note, yes. um, so in the trailer, there's an offhanded line that Frieza says about, Vegeta, I will make you the, the captain of my new Frieza army, or something oh, like damn. that. And, and then after that, there's a part where Goku's like on the ground, and Vegeta's like, your history, or something. Mm. Now, these you know, Japanese trailers tend to be very um, uh, exploitive, and sometimes they'll even have shit that's not true. Because actually, I think when he transforms into, he has a new, again, spoiler, he has a new transformation, uh, originally, the line was, allow me to show you my further transformation in the first trailer. And then when they made the second one, it was, allow me to show you my further evolution. Hmm. And they changed the line for the second one. So Interesting. these lines could totally, and I think even Battle of Gods had some lines that Probably. weren't fully in there. Yeah. So I think that there could be some stuff that might not be in there. But I'm wondering about maybe Vegeta will, like, join, quote unquote, with them and then turn out to be betraying them. And then, and because, okay, hmm. I want Vegeta to be the one to get vengeance yeah. because oh, yeah. he was he got killed by frieza he was treated like shit by frieza for almost his entire life it's kind of why he's it's not the entire reason why he's an asshole but i mean it's it's a part pretty, of it it's a yeah pretty big part. it's a major factor of it for yeah. sure so I, I think that having that happen would actually be a really cool for, full circle for him that's true uh maybe even in in tandem with uh, when he was like next time i want to be the super saiyan god like uh, that that would be pretty neat if that this happens would be the perfect time yeah so i i actually but i'm not, i'm not even gonna go i i'm i'm gonna go ahead and say say that'll probably happen yeah i think i, I think that's a pretty yeah the most obvious thing i, I wonder but, how much slapstick is going to be in this because by the way guys if you have not seen the uh the un, the unedited like non-theatrical release the uncut version of battle, battle of gods, gods it's basically what they cut out was a bunch of like goofball stuff that's really what it was like, and it was funny it shit was, it was too. funny shit yeah no it was but i mean that's that's what you missed out on was like wacky things like rock paper scissors between oolong and the god of destruction yeah <laughs> I, I mean I, toriyama said he was like extending because he's writing the script for this movie mm-hmm. himself yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know that either. And, uh, you know, like, he said he was increasing the number of fight scenes. Oh. So this one will probably be a little bit more... Fighty fight. Fl- yeah, like, but, I mean, if he's involved, it's going to be a Toriyama production, in which yeah. case, it's going to be funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to have plenty of interspersed, like, goofy shit in there as well. So I'm excited for that. Yeah. Um, I mean, honestly, uh, the freaking Beerus is, like, my my actual... The first DBZ villain in a movie that I actually liked. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, because it was something treated like it was a real... Yeah. Like, if there were another big bad guy after Boo and not... Yeah. Uh, what if Frieza had a brother? Yay! Great. Good oh, idea. Frieza Excellent. Frieza brother, good. Yeah, good. And by the way, everybody, fuck off. The, yeah. cool, the cooler fifth transformation also doesn't count either. No. God. Anyway, um, I think that's all the main stuff that I'm curious about. I... I there's so much still that we don't know because the movie is 90 minutes long. There's so much that we still don't know about it, and we're going to be seeing it in a week, like yeah. about a week and a half from when we're recording this I'm today. I'm for this shit. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Seriously, yeah. So uh, I, I guess we're kind of at the end of this. Yeah. Um, well, uh, I don't want to say in the comments below because I'm probably going to turn them off, so I apologize, everybody. Well, you know, we can always, you can always turn the comments back on after, like... You well, know what? Maybe, maybe I'll do that, although by this point, by, by that point, people won't even give a shit. Oh. But uh, I guess, well, you know what? Okay, I guess in, in the meantime, 
Um, well, I, give, it, I, give it a like. How about that? Give, give, give us a like up. and a subscribe. Um, there you go. Just to set the stage a little bit, uh, Tuesday's Curb Log in place of a, a new DBZ one is going to be a recording of the panel that I'm doing on the day this is coming up at Anime Kanji, my Curb vs. Flash Dravaganza thing, and Tome Episode Zero is coming out that same week on the 9th. And then on Saturday, I'm going to do the 6th DBZ Curb blog. That's the day that we're going to be going to see the movie. Cool. And then the Tuesday after that, which will be, let's see, I think that'll be the... Uh, uh, 14th. Uh, that will be the final one, which I'll bring back on, and we'll give our reactions to the movie. Right on. Um, so that's going to do it. Uh, thanks, everybody, for listening. Uh, hope I'll be seeing some of you guys at uh, Anime Kanji, if you listen to this later, or I already saw you guys at Anime Kanji or something. Uh, again, those of you who couldn't make it, we're sorry. We love you. We miss you, uh, even though we haven't met you. <laughs> and um, no spoilers. No spoilers, damn it. <laughs> Bye. Bye.